recently I just started messing around with uh, fluid simulations in Blender. And whenever I say recently, I seriously mean yes yesterday. Literally yesterday. But one of the questions I had was how much the different settings on, in the fluid domain actually change the output. So what I did, I created the simple animation that you see right here, and then I adjusted the resolution to 200, baked it, adjusted it to 150, baked it, adjusted it to 100, baked it, adjusted it to 50, and baked it. And each time I rendered the scene, and then I've done that with the sole purpose of seeing what difference that resolution makes because keep in mind whenever I had the, the resolution set to 200 it took three hours to bake it for a 300 frame scene and whenever I had it set to 150 it took an hour when I at 100 resolution it took uh, about 15 minutes and then at 50 resolution it took um, about five minutes to bake and then of course it took about 14 hours to render with my computer I don't have a GPU I'm only using a core i7 4720HQ which is a kind of an upper end mid-grade uh, laptop processor but anyway I'm going to show you what the final uh, rendering looks like uh, at both at all four of these different resolutions that way you have an idea of how high you need to set your resolution because the higher you set it the longer it's going to take to bake and it gets exponentially higher the higher or exp it takes exponentially longer the higher you set the resolution but here it goes I'm going to show you the videos now all right, this first one, it's the resolution is set to 50, and you can see how choppy it is. It just looks like globs instead of water particulates and droplets. This one's set to 100 on the resolution. It looks a little bit better, but it's still kind of globule. I guess that would be an appropriate word. Now it's set to 150, and in my opinion, it looks a lot better. And this one's set to 200. And this, in my opinion, definitely looks the best. Now here's all four simulations uh, side by side. Top left is uh, set at resolution 50. Top right, resolution 100. Bottom left, resolution 150. Bottom right, resolution 200. And as you can see, you, as you can clearly see, it's... Um, the higher the resolution, the better the animation looks. And here I got to slow down by a factor of 10, basically three frames a second, just so you can, you know, have more of a um, snapshot idea of what difference the resolution setting makes on the fluid dynamics, how well it looks, and so forth. And I would say 50 looks kind of like that uh, non-Newtonian fluid oblique but I would I would say you have to get to at least 150 before it actually starts looking like water and 200 looks pretty good but preferably in my opinion although I did I, I have not um, baked it and rendered it it looks like if you go above 200 it looks like it would look even better. My guess is probably around 250 to 300 would be, you know, really, really nice. But I can't imagine it would, you would benefit going any higher than that. But as I said before, I'm a noob when it comes to Blender. And these are my very first fluid animations. Literally, yesterday was the first time I ever done a fluid animation. But I hope this helped you uh, understand the resolution setting on the Blender Fluid Domain settings. Thanks for watching. Later, people.